She was the one filming Emmanuel. Emmanuel, uh, how do you pronounce her last name? I'm not good with French. <laughs> and she's uh, in the Diving Bell and the Butterfly. And Julian called me and said, if this isn't Caroline, there's, there's no way to go. You must, you must. Uh, and he was right. She was great for that. Wow. She should have had trouble tattooed on her forehead. Really? That's Caroline. Yes. So maybe one more. Okay. Yeah, one more question. Okay. See. Well. Nice tea. Nice tea. Yeah. Thanks. I just got this. Monarch. Monarchy. Very much. Very much. Very much. Very much. Very Oh what? Some you want to ask me? Got to say hello. Okay, say hello. Take it up a little oh, you know, it was more like okay. Well, I was just kind of more uh, talking off the film for a second about your, you know, back to your music. Mm -hmm. You gonna go out soon and, and tour? Or, you know, where are you We're going? We're gonna go uh, do a little tour of America. Just tiny, cause um, I don't want to travel too much. And then we're going to Europe with Berlin again. With the set. The whole thing. What's really funny, we had to do it, at, we did it in Australia because they were the backers along with St. Anne's so that we could make Berlin. And it was never going to be a movie. It was never meant to be a movie. It was, it's just, Julian said, let's put up our own money and film this. It's the only time it's going to be here. If we don't film it, we'll never see it again. <laughs> and he brought in these amazing people like Ellen Curris. And, uh, you know, I brought in sound people that I know. And uh, Ben Flaherty, Ed, uh, and he did film it. But no one was in there with us at the time. <laughs> like, have fun, you know, hope you get, you know. That's a good way to work. I, I did a movie one time. I actually told everybody to get the hell out of there mm -hmm. so that I could concentrate on acting. Mm -hmm. Right? Well, yeah. In our case, it was, uh, no one would back us, so we backed us. We formed a little, a little company to back ourselves with. And then after, uh, a couple other people said, wow, did you guys film this? So you ought to film this. And we said, <coughs> actually we did. Wow. Here it is. You know, would you like to join in what it cost? And people are going to be psyched to hear the whole thing. I don't know if anybody's done that. You know, you see people making movies today, like Neil Young did one, and, and Tom Petty did one, but it's not like this. It's not. A no, I've never seen anything that's like this. Exactly. It's like, I mean, it's not even like a concert film because you're sitting in the audience, and and then off it goes. But plus, your it's music kind of like instead of. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, but your your writing and your your music has always been so so very intimate and personal. So it's, you're right, it's not like a concert where you're saying, everybody come in here and listen to this, please. It's more like, okay, so Lou Reed's opening up his head a little bit. I want to, like, it's a chance to jump in there. 